All righty. So when we last left our heroes, I've been getting my ass whooped in this game. I'm just gonna keep it real. <laughs> There's no reason to dance around facts. Uh, the fact is, is that I'm getting my ass kicked, uh, which is, it's fine, right? It's fine. The truth is, is that the brutal difficulty on Emerald Rogue is very, very challenging. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't be randomly trading my Pokemon away at the beginning of every round. But what fun is that, you know? What fun is that? So for the time being, I think this will be our last day of trying to randomly push Pokemon out. And then on Thursday, when we come back to it, we'll actually give this like a good solid try. We'll bring in the uh, one of the Pokemon that we've caught already. We'll give them levels, see if we can start on a good note and get a run of going off or get off the ground at least. So our options this time for the random Pokemon is Roly Coley, Morlul, and Houndor. Houndor actually has some decent coverage in the beginning stages, even though it's kind of frail. Roly Coley, I don't think really gets super useful until it evolves into Colossal. So I don't really want to go that route, especially being two times weak to water and ground, or I'm sorry, quadruple weak to water and ground is just kind of a, a no-no. Morlul is actually not bad. Uh, I believe it's grass and fairy type, which is obviously super useful having a fairy type early on in the game but uh, not super offensive, a defensive option. And while that's not necessarily a bad thing, not how I want to start the day. So let's start with Houndor. Let's see what we can do with Houndor. Give Houndor a nickname? Nah, I'm good. All right, let's see what we got looking at here. So we've got a couple of routes in the other, uh, other realm here. It looks like it's just the game show. We've also got the egg area at the top here, battle prep stop, and then a mark stop. I think... What I'd like to do is I'd like to make an, uh, a route where we get a couple of decent encounters and then can also go to the tough route. So I don't want to, I'm eliminating these two routes up here because I want to be able to go to um, either the Pokemart or the Battle Prep Stop based on how much money we receive. So it's either going to be Calm Typical or one of these average routes. I don't think I'm going to do Calm Warm because we already have Houndor. I don't want to load up on fire types. Uh, grass is not a bad option. Poison is not a bad option as well. And obviously this is poor, so this is going to be rock. So I think we're probably going to go with Verdant here, just so we have options for water types. Uh, that way we've got some decent coverage, and we'll kind of go from there. Start with Average Verdant. And hopefully we get some decent options here. Unfortunately, we see a fire type immediately. Fortunately, it's Larvesta. And Larvesta is actually a very good Pokemon because... It eventually gets Quiver Dance, and having set up moves in this game is generally pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take the Larvesta. Really unfortunate that we decided to go the Verdant route, and it decided to give us bugs. I was really hoping for grass types here. Blip Bug is a, um, I believe an electric bug? I don't remember what Blip Bug... Oh, no, 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 this one this evolves into Orb Beetle, right? So this is Bug Psychic. I confused it with Grubbin. All right, so we'll grab Blip Bug. We did get more lol anyway, which is nice. Not gonna complain about getting more lol here. Very, very good. I believe those are the only three Pokemon that we get access to. So we can go ahead and start moving our way through. We get some heal balls, which is nice. That means we can catch something and get it back to full health. Let's go ahead and ember this. Get everybody leveled up. Oop, I used Howl. All right, so now everybody's up to 15. We can go ahead and teach everybody some new moves. Let's see what we got. We got Roar for Houndor, probably not useful. And then Mega Drain for Molo, which is almost certainly going over Absorb, which is absolutely fine. And let's take a look and see what we've got. Blip Bug can evolve. We got Hardy for Houndor with Early Bird is unfortunate. Flash Fire is a lot better, obviously. Um, I can't imagine we'll even use Early Bird. Uh, decent stats, not great, but decent. Larvesta rolled unfortunate. <laughs> Rolling impish on Larvesta is not good. It's not good. But we do have access to decent, uh, uh, a decent fire type physical attack. And Larvesta itself is a physical type, even though um, I forgot the name thing it evolves into. Oh my gosh. Volcarona. Volcarona is a special attacker. But Larvesta, physical attacker, I'm fine to use Flame Charge. Use the impish nature to our advantage. Blip Bug got impish, which or lonely rather, which is not super useful, but it did evolve. So we do get Dotler, which immediately gets the psychic type, gets confusion and light screen. Okay, gets both screens. That's really good. Okay, so that's that's something to note then. That Blip Bugs are really good starter. 
because Dotler itself is a very good defensive Pokemon and it gets access to both screens right away with a decent psychic attack and a decent bug attack as well. Um, with a debuff on the bug attack as well. So this is like, this is actually a much better uh, starting Pokemon than I would have been an in initially anticipated. So Blip Bug's definitely something that's super useful early on. For those that don't know how Emerald Rogue lur works, lurks? <laughs> For folks that don't know how it works, there are hard level caps in the Brutal Difficulty, and we do not get EVs or effort values when we fight different Pokemon, which means our stats are what they are. They're just going to be grown based on our IVs, which are indi in individual values. I cannot speak today. And they are set based on the Pokemon when you catch it. So normally in Pokemon, you can actually train up effort values to then give them extra stats and certain uh, statistics. So you can make like, your Houndor is super big special attacker and increases special attack a whole bunch. That is turned off in the brutal difficulty of Emerald Rogue. You do not have to play on brutal, it is good to note, that if you just want to play on normal, which is probably the recommend way to play the game when you first start, it's just fun. It's fun, it's a nice challenge. And it's definitely worth giving it your time because this game is basically an entire game at this point and it's so, so fun. So, so fun. Essentially, it's a roguelike game that allows you to get different Pokemon, go in and face different gym leaders. And then the objective is to not only defeat all eight gym leaders, but to defeat the Elite Four and the Champion. And the uh, level cap increases every time you beat a new challenge. So when you beat the first gym leader, it goes up to 25, then to 35, etc. Fairly simple concept overall. So Scraggy, we're just gonna Ember and move on. We're only fighting these trainers to get some more money. Didn't get anything great worth of items, which is not unusual for the first uh, first area, so we can just move on. This next one, we're actually going to go into the tough route no matter what here, even though it may not be what we're looking for because it gives us both options for marts. And usually, not always, but usually, these have more items. We got antidotes, we got some more heal balls. Thanks for liking the live, appreciate it. Head up here. Looks like our one encounter is Cloth and the other encounter is Relicanth, both of which are very useful for the uh, roster we're working with right now. Go ahead and just toss the Pokeball at this. Cloth is super useful. Relicanth might not be as easy to catch, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Laurel just in case here. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be a jerk. <laughs> Let's take a look at what we're rocking with here. We did get a Brave Relicanth, which is very good. Swift Swim is not bad either, uh, but not very good with the speed lowering nature, obviously, but still. Uh, Brave is not bad. Relicanth already pretty slow. Uh, physical attacking, very good nature. Good to go there. Cloth. Rocking with Anger Shell. With a Rash nature, not super good with Rash, but that's okay. So basically what Anger Shell does is it gets a Shell Smash boost when it gets to half HP. So it gets plus two attack, plus two, deep, or plus two special attack, and plus two speed which makes it a very good sweeper. As long as you can survive that one hit, you can get set up in a pretty good way, especially if you can get another setup move in, like a Trailblaze, etc. Because then if you're rocking with plus three speed, it's gonna be very, very difficult for anybody to actually take you down at that point, which is the goal. Go ahead and grab this item here. More antidotes, that's some ice heals, a potion. Let's go ahead and use our gold whistle, which is something you can unlock in this game. That way we can jump up some, uh, some cliffs here. All of these first couple trainers are all super easy to beat. So you may as well just fight them. Most of the trainers that are on the wild routes are pretty easy. And not until later do they start getting some uh, some really good threats that you probably want to avoid. We don't have access to Surf just yet. Do grab some more Burn Heals. Some Fresh Waters. And some away things. Okay, nothing great there, but that's okay. We got some items that we can sell. We are going to go ahead and go to the battle prep stop because I don't think we need the uh, the Mart at this point. And we are not confronted by Silver, which is very, very good. So let's go ahead and see what items we've got held here for held items. Eject button is not bad. Neither is Eject Pack. Fairy Gem is very good if we had a good Fairy type, but we don't. Icy Rock would be good if we had a Hail setup. We don't. Life Orb is very strong. Very, very strong. Silver Powder, Smoke Ball. Smoke Ball is actually really good for, like, making sure we don't, you know, lose. <laughs> Just automatically lose. Oh, uh, let's see. 
nothing crazy here, unfortunately. Which is kind of bad. So, like, the life orb is really the only good option here, but we need $8,000 that I don't think we can make. Even if we sold all of our items. Because most of these items don't sell for what you would expect them to. Like, that's only 300 The potions would only be about 350 The antidotes, same thing, about 750 So, like, it does add up, but you'd have to sell all of them. Is it use? Is it worth it? Probably not, at the end of the day. Because you're going to need to heal in between battles and stuff. That would get us up over 4000 Rocking with... 650 there uh, about 900 so that's like 4900 this gets us up to 56 that gets us up to 65 uh, 69 nice 72 yeah we're not gonna make it we're not gonna make it okay so we can't even get there even if we sold these heal balls I don't think yeah we'd still be a tiny bit short so what that means is that we don't have to worry about buying any health items, and we're probably just going to teach some decent moves to some of our options. I'm thinking about Cloth here, just because it's uh, it's already fully evolved and has an opportunity to actually carry us. Black Augurite, Dragon Scale, Sui Artifact, King's Rock is pretty good. Razor Claw as well, which increases critical hit ratio. It also evolves Sneasel into Weevil, which is pretty useful as well. Um... Jeez probably don't need any of that either let's go ahead and just start, start looking at moves start looking at moves see what we get move tutor what do you got buy some clatter crunch nothing crazy there fire blast pretty good not used to, not worth the money though reversal is not terrible either sucker punch is interesting temper flare is interesting as well and then trailblaze okay trailblaze is good larvesta with our acrobatics would be pretty strong bug bite as well Remember that Larvesta is a physical attacking Pokemon, so that's pretty good. Lunge, also very good. And cheap, too. 1250 is cheap. How much is Bug Bite? 1,000? Yeah, it's only 250 more for an attack lower and a stronger move. That's pretty good. Uh, Pounce, not bad either, because this one lowers speed. Could set up for another Pokemon. Trailblaze, again, another setup moves. And Headbutt, pretty strong. Dotler can learn Bug Buzz, which is pretty good. Remember that Dotler is not a very strong Pokemon at the beginning, so giving it a whole bunch of power moves is not really going to do us any good. It's already got the screens, so we can give it the dual screens and just move on. If we had Light Clay, that would be super useful, but unfortunately we did not get luck out there. Grass Knot's not bad. Light Leech Seed's not bad. We don't really need the screens because we have access to the screens. I think we're good on more lol. And then for Cloth, I feel like this is probably where we're going in. So we could teach Cloth Crab Hammer, which is a 100 power water move, which is pretty strong. Good um, good coverage there. Obviously, Cloth, physical attacking Pokemon, so anything that's physical attacking is going to be very useful here. I think that if we taught Trailblaze and... Can we teach Trailblaze and Crab Hammer is the question. If we can, I think that's probably our best option. 2250 is a lot. So 2250 and then Trailblaze was what? I think 1250. So we'd need 3700, which we're not super far off of. Let's double check. Trailblaze was 2000. Okay, so we would need... We'd, we'd be able to get there. We'd be able to get there. Let's go ahead and teach Trailblaze. We'll teach Trailblaze over Harden. And then we will teach Crab Hammer over... Um, Rock Throw, since we already have access to, I think it had Smackdown or Rock Tomb, right? It had Rock Tomb. Yeah. And Rock Tomb, stronger than Rock Throw, actually has more accuracy than Rock Throw, and they have the same PP. No reason to have Rock Throw when you have Rock Tomb. May as well just go off and deal with the, uh, just having Rock Tomb. Go ahead and sell some of these, uh, antidotes, just to get us up to the 2250 mark, which would be 600. Then we will teach it Crab Hammer, which will give our Cloth a Water-type coverage move, which is pretty strong. Again, we're not looking for Cloth to be a Water-type here. We're just looking to have some decent coverage options. I'm not really too pressed about um, Rock Smash here. And for whatever reason, I think it's because I picked a Generation 2 Sprite, like, in the in the game. But in, uh, all of the Gym Leaders so far have been all Generation 2 Gym Leaders. So basically what we're working with is we're working with... Uh, Faulkner, we're working with Bugsy, so we're working with Flying, Bug, Normal, Ghost, Fighting, Steel, Ice, and Dragon are our options, right? So just having a Water-type attack is good coverage against most of those, outside of specifically Dragon, right? Where Dragon would be a huge issue for us, but Rock then is absolutely fine. So having a Water-type move for the, uh, for the Steel-type, uh, Jasmine, in case we have to go down that road, means that Cloth will still be useful against Jasmine, and that was the goal, right? 
So overall, I think we're in good shape here. I think we do lead the cloth here and we lead with cloth, hoping that we can actually get Trailblaze up and then get Anger Shell going. Um, and then other than that, it's just kind of, it's kind of all luck at that point. So we'll just have to play it the best that we can. We'll go ahead and heal Morlo back up to full. We'll heal Houndor back up to full. And we will head into our first gym fight. So here, if you don't have your Pokemon up to the uh, level cap at this point, you can use this trainer to get your Pokemon up to the level cap. And she actually tells you what your level cap is, which is level 15 spirit cap. We're already at the level cap, so we're good to go. And at this point, I think we're solid. The other option is we could leave Dotler here and use one of the screens. I don't think that that's the right play, though. I think if I had U-turn here, I'd be a little bit more likely to use something like that, but I don't. So we're just going to leave with Cloth and try to sweep. See what happens. See what happens. Hope everybody's doing well today. Mm. It is Bugsy, which is a very good uh, lead for Cloth. That does not mean that Bugsy's going to have a bunch of bug Pokemon, though, because on Brutal Difficulty, turns out, if you go on Brutal Difficulty, they have a huge variety of Pokemon. Thankfully, it does lead with a bug type, so we're in a good spot right now. What we're going to do is we're just going to click the uh, click the Rock Tomb. Did not switch. This should just take out Skaroopy. I can't imagine it survives. Oh, wow. It's really defensive. It's not expecting that. Sets up Toxic Spikes. Makes it so that now whenever I switch a Pokemon in, it's going to get poisoned. Then they switch. And we see Pineco come through. So Pineco does have access to Giga Drain, worth noting. But I don't think it's going to survive long enough to use it. Citrus Berry will not put it, or Berry Juice rather, will not put it into range to survive this next Rock Tomb. It sets up Protect, which is fine. Go ahead and click Rock Tomb again. Pop. Does get knocked out. Got lucky with the two Rock or Bug types and see what happens. Do you think they're the Rose? I appreciate it. Just smashed there because I knew Tyrog was using Fake Out. No big deal. This is one of the scenarios, which is why we talk Crab Hammer, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and use Trailblaze once just to give ourselves a speed boost. We are going to see a fighting type attack here. I think we should survive it. Ooh, I should have just used Crab Hammer. That would have just... Oh, we just used Tackle. Well, never mind, everybody. We're just going to click Crab Hammer and that thing's going down. As you can see, not a bug type. Back comes Skaroopy. Skaroopy should go down to one more Rock Tomb. I guess it could be a roll here, but it should be fine. There we go. Skaroopy goes down. Next up is Scyther. Scyther is four times weak to rock, so we're just going to click Rock Tomb again. Turning out to be a pretty good start for us this time around. Cloth was a very good encounter. Scyther goes down. Got two Pokemon left. Burmy comes in. Burmy, not much of a threat here. Ooh, thank you. Freaky, thanks so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Goes down to one Rock Tomb. And last but not least, Yanma. Okay, wow. Really good start. Really good start. Not bad at all. That'll go down to one Rock Tomb as well, as it is also four times weak to Rock. And we get a perfect clean sweep on Brutal Difficulty. Look at us go. Excellent. Not bad at all. All right, so we've got our first gym badge. And to be honest, we're actually rocking with a decent team. Got some decent coverage here. The only thing that we really don't need at this point is probably Larvesta or Houndor, one or the other. Probably leaning Larvesta at this point because we already have another bug type on the team. Don't want to have a bunch of weakness to rock here. Uh, that, and that's kind of the, the main reason. We go ahead and switch out on Larvesta. We could probably lose Dotler as well if we find a better Psychic type or something else that's a good support Pokemon. But uh, having Morlo gives us a bit more uh, flexibility. So in this one, we get a habitat of a trained Pokemon, which is very, very, very good. Um, usually this Pokemon has some really solid moves, which makes it very useful. And then we also have a catching contest up there, which gives us an opportunity to then just get a free Pokemon, basically. If you win the catching contest, you also get a reward, but it's not required to win the contest. You just have to uh, catch a Pokemon, essentially. So you just get a free catch. I am going to go ahead and go to the train Pokemon. Train Pokemon is usually very useful. It is Scrafty, or Scraggy, rather. Knowing that this is a fighting and a dark type, I will go ahead and put Morlo on the front. 
and we will try to catch it. This is Emerald Rogue. Emerald Rogue. And you should definitely check them out over on Twitter. It's Poke Abby. He's got it over on Twitter. And then uh, they'll have a, they have a whole series of like how to get it all installed and stuff like that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think we can probably just throw a heal ball here, to be honest. Yep, great. All right, so we got Scraggy. I am going to go ahead and just get rid of Larvesta here. This gives us another option for rock types, which is very good. Let's go ahead and check Scraggy. Impish. Impish is a very good nature for Scraggy. Okay, this is good. Bulk up, drain punch, knock off. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Rest is only good if we find a Chesto Berry. Uh, in this game, having rest is not as useful as you might think. Uh, because ha being asleep for two turns in brutal difficulties makes it very, very challenging. Very, very challenging. So at this point, I'm down to just keep it because I don't have anything else better to give it right now. Uh, and if we find Chesto Berries, great. But if we don't, then it's probably just a uh, it's probably just a dead move. We are going to go ahead and do the catching contest here. And we're running a dark catching contest. Interesting. And we're trying to find what? If you can catch a Pokemon with the highest base attack. So if we're looking for highest base attack dark type Pokemon, we're probably looking for Absol here. Uh, Scraggy, also very good, but we already have a Scraggy, so I'm not going to think about that. Dino's not terrible either. Ooh, Honchkrow's probably the answer. Yeah, Honchkrow does have a very high base attack. Go ahead and catch Honchkrow here. So if we're thinking about other options, so now the question is, do I think it's Absol or Honchkrow? 37 base attack is very, very high on the Honchro. I imagine Absol's is going to be slightly higher. Thanks for liking the live. Appreciate it. Uh, I imagine Honchro is not quite as high as Absol. Absol's attack is like its only good stat. And Absol has access to some better coverage moves, but Honchro has access to better support moves. I think I'd rather... Would I even take either of these, honestly? Probably not, right? So let's go for the actual answer. I think it's going to be Absol. I think it's going to be Absol. And if we see that it has more than 37 attack, it is going to be close. It was one level lower than Honchkrow, so there's a chance that it did not roll as well. Uh, but I think that Absol is probably the answer. It would not shock me at this point if it was um, Honchkrow. Honchkrow does have a very high base attack. But at this point, I feel like pretty confident. Weevil is up there as well. I don't think Weevil's quite as high as um, as Absol. And I don't know that I would even use Weevil. Because it's just pretty... It's, it's a little too frail. Zarua. That is uh, Alolan Meowth, it looks like. Hisuian Quillfish is interesting. It's definitely not Inkay. Yeah, I think the only one it would be Honchkrow or Weevil would be the two. Bombardier is an option as well. It wouldn't be Spiritomb. I don't think it's Bombardier either. But I'm less familiar with the ge the newer gen Pokemon. Alolan Grimer is interesting. I think I'm comfortable. I think I'm comfortable. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it was absolutely nice. Good call. Prize was 5,000 Poke, which we'll be able to spend at the next shop, which is very useful. Uh, and then, do we want to take Absol? I think the answer is no here. I, I think if we got rid of anything, it would be Relicanth, and I'd be okay getting rid of Relicanth. Um, we already have Crab Hammer on Cloth, Ooh, right? Which you. would be nice. Lance, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Relicanth. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I don't need to have two Rock types. I don't need to have two Rock types. We'll just pretend that Cloth is our uh, our uh, our water rock. Laura, thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. All right, let's go ahead and go to the daycare rest stop. This gives us a full heal, which we don't need. Oh, boy. We immediately get punished for taking two uh, non-combat routes. That's unfortunate. So uh, sometimes Silver will show up at the end of one of the uh, encounters that you have, and you have to fight Silver. The unfortunate bit is we have not leveled up. So now we are rocking with Pokemon that are pretty low level. This is probably where the run ends. If I had to take a, if I had to take a guess. So let's take a look and see if we can end this a little bit more uh, in our favor. I think Jolly is probably pretty good. Uh, Timid also very good. We have some options here to optimize some of our Pokemon's natures. 
A Sassy for Mortal is actually great, so I'm fine with Sassy. Impish for Scraggy is great as well. Dotler's Lonely Nature is not very good. Um, I'm fine to get rid of Lonely and change it to uh, Quiet would be fine. Doing pretty well, Laura. How are you? Uh, fine to change this to basically whatever I'd like at that point. Cloth doesn't have a good nature at all, so we can just change Cloth's nature entirely. Uh, Jolly's probably what we're going to do for Cloth. And then Hardy, this is going to be Timid for Houndor. And then probably Jolly for our friend, uh, our friend Absol. Our friend Absol. Let's go ahead and get that done. Because this is where we're just going to spend our money. Because obviously if we don't, you either spend your money now or you lose. It's the, those are your two options. We get two Jolly Mints. We're going to get a Timid Mint for our, 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 bop, 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 bop. <laughs> For our friend Houndor, and I think Sassy was good for somebody, right? Who do I want Sassy for? Dotler? Yeah, Sassy for Dotler is fine. Absolutely fine. We can go ahead and grab a Sassy Mint for Dotler. Go ahead and buy a Mint. Grab the Sassy Mint. And those will all be our four Mints. So this will change all of their natures. Try to give us some better natures overall. Obviously, this does not mean that we're going to win. It just gives us a better opportunity to. Go ahead and switch Cloth over to Jolly. Which should give him some extra speed. We'll switch our Absol over to Jolly as well, which just gives us some of our defense stat back. We'll give Timid over to our Houndor. Makes it a little bit faster. And then Sassy over to Dotler, which then gives us back some of our defense and loses a speed that doesn't really matter. And at this point, our Pokemon actually have all really good natures. And we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to lead with the Cloth. We're going to hope that that's a decent lead here. And then we will not use this heal. Uh, well, you do get healed afterwards, I suppose. So it doesn't really matter. But uh, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Likely, we're going to get uh, we're going to get wiped here. Just letting you all know. Just so it's not a uh, disappointment. Last couple times, Silver has had a legendary Pokemon at this point in the run. So, And we are not very well equipped to deal with a legendary Pokemon. Leads with a Mankey, which is the worst possible lead that we could have gotten as a Cloth lead. Which is really unfortunate. At this point, we're expecting a Fighting-type attack, which we are fairly weak to. Uh, I think at this point, we probably just go into Morlol here. He does absorb the Earthquake, which is not what I was expecting to see. Fairly well. We're going to go ahead and click Confuse Ray, as Confuse Ray should be something that uh, Mankey doesn't deal with very well. Hope it doesn't have a berry that heals it. Here comes Confuse Ray. And now we just click Mega Drain and we cross our fingers, because if it hits hurt by Confusion, we've got a decent shot to, uh, to survive. It did not, so Morlo goes down, which is super sad, but is what it is. And now we send in Dotler. So the point with Dotler here is to just set up screens and use Confusion. So we're going to go ahead and click Reflect to start with here. Did snap out of Confusion, used Earthquake again. We do resist, and we have higher defense now, so we should resist this. Yeah, not bad. 10 is fine. Reflect comes down. Now the Earthquake will only do 5 damage. I used Struggle Bug instead of Confusion by mistake. Here comes the 5 damage for Earthquake. Oh, and it got Defiant boosted. Well, that's, that's going to be my bad. <laughs> So good news, one more confusion should take this out. As long as it doesn't crit, we should be in good shape. Gotta hope for no crit here though. No crit. I took way more damage there than I needed to based on my own error, which is unfortunate. We'll get everything up to 18, unfortunately. Oh, it goes up to 19, nice. That's nice at least. We do get up to 19. Unfortunately, that is the highest we'll get. We will not grow more levels in this one. Whimsicott comes in. Whimsicott, usually defensive. I imagine we're going to see an offensive Whimsicott here, uh, but Whimsicott doesn't have a ton of coverage, so we have to assume this is going to be a fairy move, which I, again, do not resist very well, and I think we just have to let Dotler go down here. So I am going to click Light Screen. It is Moonblast. It does go down to Moonblast, which is unfortunate, but it's absolutely fine. We are in a position where we need to make a good move here. I think it's just going to be the Houndor using Ember. Is I think my best option. Smog is also like a choice, but Smog, if you hit it, because it's only 70% accurate, is times four. But I think a stab ember also goes to 120 power when it's super effective. So no point using smog here unless we wanted to poison it. I think we just go hound or we hit an ember and we, we just hope that it's a two hit. Whimsicott may even outspeed. It does indeed. This is a neutral attack. Hound or special defense, not super high does survive, but we do get a special attack drop, which is super unfortunate. 
we can get a burn here, we would be in a better spot. We did not, unfortunate. Condor goes down to another Moon Blast, which you just have to take. And I, unfortunately, everybody, I think this is where we already lose the run. So Cloth comes through. I am gonna go ahead and click the Trailblaze first just to try to get myself a speed boost. It uses Stun Spore, which is so bad for me. Trailblaze gives us a speed boost. And now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and click Rock 2. We should survive at least one of the Moon Blasts. I hope this gets us to our Anger Shell. It does indeed. So we do get a defense and a special defense drop, but this is going to couple with a plus two in attack, special attack, and speed. And I think even paralyzed the plus three speed, we should outspeed most of the rest of his team. A plus two rock tomb does not take out Whimsicott. However, with the minus one speed, we should certainly outspeed at this point, and the second rock tomb does take it out. Alrighty, so Cloth is in a position to have a chance to get us done here. However, Chin Chow comes through. At this point, uh, this is actually going to be a Trailblaze angle. Rock Tomb stabs up to 90 power, but Trailblaze is actually super effective to 100. So Trailblaze is slightly stronger. Go ahead and click the Trailblaze here. That plus two is super effective. Trailblaze is not enough to take out the Chin Chow. Chin Chow will take us out with a uh, Bolt Switch. Interesting. Okay. We do get to see what they're switching into now. It is Spirit Tomb which is good information to have, because now we will absolutely just go straight into Absol. Absol comes through, level 19. Let's see what we've got access to here. Knockoff is very strong. We'll go ahead and click Knockoff. This will knock off its item, get it to do some damage on. Nice, we get rid of Black Glasses, which is super useful. Confuse Ray. Hmm. Confuse Ray, interesting. Do I want to switch here? I'm not sure what it would use at this point. It's probably using a ghost attack. And Scraggy... Scraggy has knockoff as well, right? What's Scraggy's attack stat? 35? Obviously significantly lower. I do not want to get hurt by confusion here is the issue. Because getting hurt by confusion would hit Absol very, very hard. And I'm not in that position to, to lose more HP here. We're going to switch to Scraggy to get rid of the confusion here. Does use Will-O-Wisp. That makes Scraggy pretty much useless. So we're actually down to just let Scraggy go down here, which is unfortunate. I could rest, actually. Let's knock off once. Uses Confuse Ray, that's fine. And then I'm gonna spam rest here. After I just said that rest was not gonna be super useful for us too, but seeming like I was mistaken. Go ahead and click rest here, and we will hit it until we hit it. In comes taunt. Now I can't use rest, which is unfortunate. We'll go back to knock off. Maybe get a crit. No crit. Foul play comes through. This should be fine. Yeah, six damage is nothing. We got rid of the burn thanks to shed skin. We go ahead and click knock off again. Don't get hurt by confusion. Knock this thing out. Let's go. Thank you, shed skin. Shuckle comes through. Uh, ooh. We bulk up here, right? Oh, we're taunted, right. Drain Punch, that's fine. The Drain Punch, this should do decent damage, but not a ton. It is Shuckle after all. Yep. Oh, red card, okay. That's fine. I hadn't even set up yet. Use his final Gambit. Not enough to take out the Absol, takes itself out. Final Gambit, by the way, makes your Pokemon get knocked out and uses its HP stat as damage. Fanpy comes in. Uh, let's go ahead and just knock off whatever item it has. Was Eevee a light? Uses Stealth Rock. We should see uh, Knock Off do about the same amount of damage here now that the Eevee light is gone. It actually did more because it crit. Thank you, Super Luck. Down to the last Pokemon, and the last Pokemon is the Chinchow, which has not had its item knocked off yet. So this will go down to one more knockoff, and we do survive the Silver Encounter, just barely. Just barely. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean a whole lot for us, because we're left with just two Pokemon going into the next gym fight, and we will not win. <laughs> we will not win, but, uh, you know, we will do our best as we are wont to do. 
and we will head into this fight with our head held high. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves up to the level uh, level cap using Absol's quick attack to knock out this fancy, and we'll see if our um, if our, ha or our, our, our hashtag duo can get this done. Can't speak today. Get up to level 25. Everybody will learn some new moves. Scraggy cannot evolve yet, which we knew. Beat up, not useful at this point. Torment, interesting. Facade, interesting as well. Both of those not really useful, though. Not really interested. Slash, probably over Leer. And I think we're going to do Taunt over Double Team. Because Taunt is a lot more useful than Double Team is. Okay. And now we only really have two ways to win this at this point. It's either going to be leading the Absol, getting a Taunt off on something that would set up some kind of sat hazards. Say like Stealth Rock, Poison Star, Toxic Spikes like we saw before. Or sending in Scraggy and using Bulk Ups. I think Scraggy's probably our better choice here. We're just going to head into Scraggy. Everybody's fully healed. Nothing we can really do here. Like I said, it's uh, it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes with these kind of runs. We're going to give it a shot. Thanks for liking the live. Appreciate it. Pokemon in. It is Morty. Okay, so this is a chance. We do have a chance. We do have a chance to actually win this here. Depending on the other Pokemon that he has. Uh, if he leads a ghost type, though, we should be able to get a bulk off for free. Does lead with Frostlass. Much less free, Frostlass. Much less free. I think at this point, I still want to set up a bulk up at this point. Even though it's a little risky. Because I think we're going to see spikes here. I don't think we're going to see a, a flat-out combat move or a switch. So I'm going to click bulk up, assuming that we see spikes. We do, in fact, see spikes. Very good call. We get the bulk up off. Bulk up off. Which gives us a plus one. This plus one knockoff is not enough to take off Frost Last at this point. I'm gonna bulk up again. We do get taunted, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and knock off this turn. Comes in with the Ice Fang. As long as we do not get flinched or frozen here, we should be in a good shot spot. We're fine. Knockoff comes through, plus one knockoff. Was not enough because of a focus sash. And we go ahead and click knockoff again. We use Destiny Bond, and now we lose. <laughs> Very typical strategy with Frostlass. The only thing we could have done there was like switch around, but they set up spikes to make sure that that would punish us. Very, very good strategy overall. Very common strategy as well. Absol comes in, gets hurt by some spikes. First up is Grimer. This is gonna be a lowland Grimer poison dark type, and this is probably where we lose. We're gonna go ahead and click Taunt, just to make sure it can't set up any toxics or anything on us. It does just poison jab, and we got poisoned anyway. Well, this is where it ends, everybody. <laughs> not bad, not bad. That was actually a decent start to the uh, start to the stream, though. That was a decent start. Not a bad run. All right, did we finish any quests? We did not. Go ahead and set off on our next adventure. And our random partner Pokemon this time is either Venipede, Barboach, or Capsicid. Probably gonna be Capsicid here. Just because I don't get to use these very often. It's a Gen 9 Pokemon. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Caps getting nickname? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, the fun thing to do is to do the random encounter and then the catching contest. Unfortunately, we can't do that if we actually want to win. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we do get a Calm Capsicid, which I think is bad. I don't know if Capsicid and its, uh, its evolution or physical attacking, I believe they are, though. I believe they are, though, which is unfortunate for us. Average Magical gives us some Psychic Encounters. Average Rugged gives us some Rock-type Encounters. Calm Wet gives us Water-type Encounters. I'm down to do Calm Wet here to have some options for Fire-types and then do the Catching Contest. I think that's probably our best option. Welcome to the route just north of Cerulean City, everybody. Thanks for liking the live. Appreciate it. We do get ourselves a Quillfish. I also saw one of the best encounters that we can possibly get this early on in the game. In Tatsugiri. Which is a water dragon type Pokemon that is fully evolved. Very, very strong. We also have Flabebe. Which we'll take as well. We also have Basculin. Basculin, less useful. But we are going to catch it just to have it at this point. And then our last option is Poliwag which we are just going to use as uh, experience fodder. At this point, I don't think we actually need the Poliwag all that much. We do have to get a uh, Evolution Stone either way or a King's Rock in order to even evolve Poliwhirl into one of its evolutions. And that is uh, not guaranteed in this game. So I'd rather have the, uh, the other Pokemon that do a little bit better job. Let's 
go ahead and see what we've learned. Capsule Kid has learned Razor Leaf, which is very good. We'll teach that over Leafage. Uh, Foul Stinger for Quillfish, also very strong. We'll teach that over Harden. Being able to get a plus uh, three attack stat is very good. Tatsugiri learned nothing. Flabebe learned Razor Leaf, which is better than Vine Web. It is just a fairy type, though, Flabebe. And Basculin learned Aqua Jet, which is very good. We'll teach that over uh, Tackle. And we're good to go. All right, so now we can just clear this route. Go ahead and pick up any items that we find along the way. We found some more Pokeballs, some fresh waters. Got some Heal Balls, which is nice. More Pokeballs, nice. So we've got these enough Pokeballs. We don't need to go to a shop after this route, which is also very nice. Get some more Soda Pops. Haboop. Burn heals, ice heals, nothing useful there. Mickle berries, papaya, or pyapa berries, and jaboka berries. I don't know that any of those are immediately helpful. Yeah, the jaboka berries aren't bad, but pyapa is only if psychic moves are weak, and I don't think we have, besides, we do have quillfish. We do have quillfish. Cars, thanks for the follow, appreciate it, welcome on in. Uh, so I guess we could utilize that later on. We'll see. I doubt we'll have to deal with that, because we don't have to deal with psychic types until the Elite Four. In, uh, in this challenge, so not that they couldn't have a psychic type move, but that's the typical. Go ahead and do our catching contest. This will be our sixth Pokemon. Running a flying type. You've been in Safari Zone for three hours and haven't even seen Kakuna yet. I don't even know if Kakuna can be in the Safari Zone, can it? Or you mean an Emerald Rogue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> If you mentioned Emerald Grove, then I apologize. Oh, I didn't even see what the uh, what the thing was. Did anybody see what it was? I'm gonna get this Honchkrow. It is flying types. Halucha. Base attack. Thank you. Thank you. Got them confused. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, so base attack. Contro, he does have a high base attack, as we talked about before. Does Halucha's higher, though? Probably not. Probably not. Halucha would be the more useful add to the team. I'm gonna take the Halucha. Because I think Halucha's more useful here. Definitely not Tropius. <laughs> Minior. Ooh. I don't know that Minior is the answer to the question, but Minior is very good. Hmm. It's our current team. We've got a lot of water types and a grass type, right? Quillfish, Basculin, Capsicid. Hmm. I think I might want the Minior, honestly. Normally, I would keep Halucha here, but I think Minior might be the better option. Go ahead and catch the Minior, and we'll keep the Minior. I don't know that Minior is the answer to the question, but uh, I do like I do like having the Minior. So I'm going to go ahead and just end it now. We'll keep the Minior. It was not the answer. Was the answer Honchkrow? It was Honchkrow, so we were right. We were right, but we'll take the Minior. We'll take the Minior. I'm absolutely fine with keeping Minior on the squad. Let's see what Minior got. Does only get Defense Curl and roll out early on, but again, this is a very, very, very useful Pokemon if we can get past the first round. But uh, we're in a pretty good spot to get past the first round overall. Having a naughty adaptability Hibasculum with Aqua Jet, as long as we are not running into a bunch of water types, we should, we should have a decent shot here. Um, I'm down to do... Actually, we can buy mints here. Let's go to the daycare stop and hope we don't see silver. Okay, so of the Pokemon that we have, there's only one that I would say is probably not super useful, and it is Capsicid. Um, everything else is pretty much uh, good enough, at least. Tatsugiri doesn't have anything useful as of right now, but again, Tatsugiri is very strong. Flabebe is probably tradable as well. Um, I'm down to trade Capsicid here, I think, and try to go for a random roll here. Let's see what options we have for mints. Mild Mint and Quiet Mint. Neither of these are very useful. Does increase special attack. We will get one of those for Tatsugiri after we beat uh, Silver. Let's go ahead and trade Capsa Kid here. Oh, I don't have any money. Y'all want to do the content play and just trade them all? I'm 
down. Let's do it. This is a throw, by the way. Don't ever do this. Let's do it. Trade them all. You want to trade your whole team? I sure do. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it for the content. Enjoy. That looks like Archon behind me. It's Makuita, actually. Okay. So we get Makuita with Guts. Pretty good. Has access to Fake Out. Not bad. We get Pancham. Pancham pretty strong early on. Wimpod, useless, actually. Like, not even being unkind there, just useless. Uh, Alolan Sanshu, very good. Very good. Very good. Lots of really good combat options. Larvesta. Once again, just fine. Gets better if we get it that far. And Trotagon, also not very bad. Also not very bad. Mild is not a very good nature, but that's okay. Uh, we have anything to leave here? I'm leaving the Wimpod because Wimpod is, once again, not super useful. So, we're gonna go ahead and just rock it. See what happens. Pine goes out first. Uh, we are gonna see a setup move here. Not a lot we can do about that, though, so we're gonna just click Struggle Bug. A whole bunch. Nice crit. Use Protect. We're just gonna keep using Struggle Bug until, uh, Pineco goes... Boom. Goodbye, Wimpod. <laughs> Dronagon gets level 15, learns Dragon Tail. We are going to go straight into the Dronagon, actually. Silver sends in Marsh Shadow, which is unreal. And we're going to Dragon Tail that immediately. It has Ice Punch. Of course it has Ice Punch. Why would I expect anything otherwise? Now goes Dronagon to a crit. I believe that crit likely mattered. And uh, we're so doomed. So doomed. I do not have a dark type attack. It's probably a, uh, a Larvesta and Prey angle here. Go ahead and click Flame Charge just to get a speed boost. See what we can do. I did forget about... Um, about stone or uh, stealth rock. This uh, shadow sneak may actually be enough, and it was. So, how's everybody doing? <laughs> so this is super over, by the way. Super over. There's uh, nothing we can do here at this point. Uh, even if we clicked rollout, which is Sandshrew's strongest attack at this point, it's not gonna be enough. Shadow sneak is neutral, so we should survive, barely. Power Snow comes through. Can we hit the freeze? No. And suddenly, it's over. Just like that. Well, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. All right, let's run it back. We got Fomantis. We've got Swinub. And we've got Larvidar. Larvidar is the clear choice here. Swinub also very strong. Fomantis not terrible, but I think Larvidar is the clear choice here. Just the whole Marsh Shadow, yeah. In the first area, too. But that's how it goes. Just so, I guess I didn't actually show that we were uh, rocking on the uh, Brutal difficulty. I don't think, think I can show that at this point, but we are rocking on Brutal for what it's worth. Uh, two Calm Routes or two Average Routes are our options here. Probably gonna go with the Tomb Calm routes just so we have some good options to choose from. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Get an item right off the rip. Got some heal balls. Fallout berries, Petra berries, and Cobra berries. Nice. We will catch Impidimp. Impidimp, not super useful, but it does have its uh its functionalities as a support. We get Murkrow as well. Murkrow very, very good. If it stays in the wall. If it stays in the wall. If it stays in the wall. Murkrow, super useful. And then Scraggy, again, same thing. Very, very useful. Good early on. Capsicet makes a comeback again. See, we were rocking with with natures. We got Jolly with Scraggy, which isn't super good, but it did get Moxie, which is very good. We got Insomnia for Murkrow, which isn't great. 
Naughty Prankster Impident. No really need Naughty, but Prankster is what we're looking for. Prankster lets status moves go first. Uh, gentle with Larvidar is, is mostly irrelevant. Guts is obviously its only, uh, but it's, it's regular ability. And then Phantop is gonna be what we um, what we train up on. Let's go ahead and bite. Find another Phantom here. Hello, Phantom, where are you? Where are you? There it is. Go ahead and bite. Everybody gets 15. Let's go ahead and teach everybody their moves. So we will teach Rock Slide over Rock Throw for reasons I don't think I need to explain, but if I need to, feel free to ask. <laughs> we'll teach Fake Tears over Confide at this point. Uh, wing Attack will be taught over Peck. Again, obvious reasons. No, no Sand Attack again, I hope, for obvious reasons. And we'll be moving on. So this is the uh, south of Violet City, I believe, in Generation 2. Get some Paralyzed Heals. Also, I have some Heal Powders up here, which is nice. Not seeing a ton of other items, which is normal on a Calm Route. This should go all the way down to Union Cave. Do -do -do. Potions. Never gonna hear me complain about getting potions in between fights here. Being able to heal up is super useful. Grab some more Pokeballs, which is good since that Murkrow ate like 16 of mine. Yeah, so we play Pokemon challenges on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This week we're doing Emerald Rogue, and next week we're doing Rental Randomizer Challenge, which is essentially playing Pokemon Stadium 2, where we, uh, thanks for the follow as well, appreciate it. Um, where we do uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, and we let a website randomly select which rental Pokemon we're gonna select. And we do have all those VODs over on YouTube for those that are interested. I always forget to say that in the middle of the VODs or in the middle of the streams here, so that's a good time to bring it up. <laughs> it's a good time to bring it up. Calm Corrosive is going to be Poison types. Calm Swarming is going to be Bugs. Mm. What are we weaker to at this point? Right now we've got Impotent. We've got a lot of Dark types, right? So if we can get some good uh, opposition to Dark type counters, which would be what? Probably Bug or Poison, actually. I'm actually down for poison here. Gives us an option for fairy. Also resist uh, bug type attacks if we have to deal with this. It's on brutal difficulty right now. Which is probably a mistake, but it's been fun. <laughs> Chalice, welcome on in. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So we have Salandit. We have Dodua. We have Alolan Grimer. Um, okay. Alolan Grimer is really good once it gets to muck. It does have really good defensive stats. But we already have three dark types. I'm not super keen on getting Let's check Salandit. I think we have to find a female one. For those that don't know, the uh, Salandit does not evolve if it's male. Don't think we need Doduo. Bottleby could be good if it has huge power, but only if it has huge power. I'm down to try at least catching one. Just thanks for sharing the live. I appreciate it. Did you get huge power, my friend? Nope, but you got pickup. That's actually useful for now. You can save the party. You can stay. Let's find a bigger patch of grass and we're not dealing with this. Check this land real quick. Also male. Also male. Getting out of there. But yep, we do Pokemon challenges here on TikTok every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern. We do take all of these VODs, by the way, and put them over to our YouTube channel. So if you ever miss a live stream, you don't have to fret. It will be over on YouTube in its full capacity. So you can just watch the VOD back. This is a female Salandit, which is great. We're gonna catch this. Add that to the parody. And that'll do, that looks like Varum up there, which is an interesting uh, encounter. Sassy, not terrible, but not great. Obviously, we don't want to lower Salandit's speed, but not terrible. That is Varum. Hmm. I don't think I care. I think we're good to skip Varum. It is interesting, though. It is interesting. Go ahead and rock slide the Dodo, get everybody up to 15, teach them their moves, and we'll move on. And hopefully, at this point, we really gotta hope that we don't see Silver at the end of this round, because this, this team is not it. This team is not it. Go ahead and quick, teach Quick Attack over Tackle. We'll teach Mud Shot over anything, really. Leer, sure. And then I'm down to teach it Flail as well over Laser Focus. This. 
Poison Bank for Salandit. We'll teach that over Poison Gas. Uh, nothing for that, nothing for that, nothing for that. Those will be the only two, right? Yeah, okay. Good to go. Good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and heal Arbor back up to full. Some of the potions that we got. And then I think out of all of the Pokemon that we have, we're probably leading the Salandit here. I'm not super interested in keeping the Salandit. If we do lose it, I'm not too impressed about that. Doesn't have access to a fire move yet. Oh, it does have Ember. Never mind. Never mind. We do want to keep it. We'll keep we'll switch to Murkrow in a bit. Neither would be Murkrow or Impidemp, but Murkrow has the speed advantage, has really good strong stab wing attacks. I'm gonna go from there. We'll go from there. Boom, 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 boom. Let's grab those berries. We get some Leopard Berries, we get some Petra Berries, some Chopple Berries, which is useful, and Salak Berries are useful as well. Nice. Those are actually some good options there. If I remember to put them on, which is, you know, half the challenge. <laughs> that is half the challenge. Let's go ahead and run up here, grab this item. We get some more Heal Powders. We do have access to Cut, so we can grab all this stuff down here. We get an Awakening, Poke Dolls, and Poke Balls. And hopefully, no Whammy, no Whammy, no Silver. If we run into Silver again, I don't believe we will win against Silver at this point. And it is here. Regrettable. Regrettable. So the good news is, is both Bunnelby and um, Salandit are replaceable because we can just recatch them here. So we can start with either one of them. I'm down to start with Bunnelby. Let's see what we can do. This is super unfortunate. Bad luck. All right, so Silver leads off with Bronzor, which is going to have Levitate. Because of course it does. We are likely going to see a setup move here. I am going to switch into Salandit so we can use Ember. My setup. I meant, uh, um, oh, I did use a setup move. Never mind, I was right. I'm a genius. <laughs> I thought I was going to use a, uh, like rocks or something. That's fine. All right, we go ahead and use Ember. Should do decent damage. Good lord, with plus one, that is not a lot. We are going to lose. It has two. Plus two special attack and a psychic attack. Let's go into Scraggy here. And go for payback. We are somehow faster. Uses flash cannon, which we should survive. We do indeed. Payback again. Takes it down. Raid boss down. We get a moxie boost. Let's see if Scraggy can win with the moxie boost. Pancham comes in. If we're faster with plus one, we might... Oh, it's only a fighting type right now. It's not fighting dark. Interesting. Okay, let's go for the headbutt flinch. Got the flinch. Try it again. Do we flinch twice in a row? We do not. Grain punch comes through that will take out Scraggy, unfortunately. Puts Pancham in a spot where we might be able to take it out with Murkrow's wing attack. Pancham has decent uh, defense stat, though, so it may not be enough, but we will try our best. Mm. Bummer. Dunk Shot comes through. This should take out our, uh, our Murkrow, unfortunately. 120 power poison attack is not enough. Wow, nice. Not enough. Take it down with wing attack. Interesting that it went for Gunk Shot there, even though Drain Punch is nearly as strong. Grubbin comes in. I'm actually just gonna wing attack again. Uh, Grubbin very likely has an electric attack here, but not a whole lot we can do about it. We're just going to take it. He uses Electro Web. This will take out Murkrow. Thanks for playing, Murkrow. Uh, at this point, I feel pretty confident that Bundlebee Quick Attack should at least be close to knocking out the Grubbin. And we can always replace Bundlebee if I'm wrong, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Was not quite enough. Did miss the Electro Web, though, which means we get to get another Quick Attack off for free. That takes out the Grubbin. Two Pokemon left. Do you see Zara Aura? Because of course we do. Uses fake out. Knocks us down to over half our HP is down now. We're gonna go ahead and click Mud Shot to get the speed boost, uh, speed beam up. Hopefully we survive the Snarl. We do not. Yeah, we can get another bunny on this round if we beat a Zara Aura with a life orb. <laughs> Which, you know, it doesn't seem super likely. Doesn't seem super likely. Go ahead and click Rock Slide. We'll try to do as much damage as we can. It has not Grass Knot. Goodbye, Larvidar. And goodbye, life. <laughs> yeah, if we got a huge power bunny, that would actually probably make a huge difference here, but 
Regrettably, I think we're in a I think we're in a rough spot. We do get a crit on the fake out, hog. Let's flatter. Which we do get to go first because of um what's it called? I've forgotten the name. Prankster, there it goes. Nope. Grass not comes through. Not enough to take us out. Uh, let's go ahead and bite. It's snapped out of confusion after one turn because this game hates me. <laughs> and we'll use Flatter again. Let's see if it hurts itself in confusion. This is the only thing we can really do at this point. It was going to knock us out this turn anyway, so we need to hurt by confusion here. <clears throat> Either hurt by confusion or we are doomed. Doomed it is. Doomed it is. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, random party Pokemon. We get access to Skaroopy, Nosepass, and Pansage. Ooh, none of these are very good. None of these are very good. Devils, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Um, I think we're going to go Skaroopy here. Probably the better option of the three. None of them are very strong, though. Nosepass actually isn't terrible. Gets access to Thunder Wave. Thank you. Alex, thanks for the follow as well. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Let's go ahead and go with Skaroopy. I'm down for Skaroopy. I'm down for Skaroopy. How often do we get to use the Skaroopy, right? All right, so we have access to a tough energetic route, which is almost certainly where we're going here. Average magical, not a bad option either. Alex, thanks for the heart, appreciate it. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the uh, to the tough energetic route. Get some options for some decent items here. Hopefully we don't run into silver immediately. We get Impidimp and, oh, okay, we get Yamper. Yamper, not super good, but early on, it's not bad. We get access to Nuzzle, which gives us an automatic paralysis, which is nice. Let me thanks to the GGs. Get Impidimp as well. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and knock out a Yamper. I imagine that's going to be the easier one to knock out of the two. She fell stinger. We could get... I don't know if it has Static or Pickup. I think it's, it's Ball Fetch, right? Oh, there's Nuzzle. It's fine. We should find that para paralysis here while we're here. All right, so let's take a look and see what they learn. Yamper did get access to Roar, Impidim, Fang Tears. We did get Toxic Spikes, which is why we took the, uh, the Skaroopy to begin with. Also got access to Bite, which is a very good attack. I don't know that we're going to teach it right now, though. No, I will teach it over Home Claws. <clears throat> I will teach it over Home Claws. Because I'd rather have access to uh, another type of move than have access to a setup move when I have Fell Stinger. Specifically when I have Fell Stinger. Get some antidotes, got some items up there. We'll go ahead and grab those real quick. What up, homie? Let's hit it with Fell Stinger. Ooh. Okay. I forgot this was a poison type. Should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. So as far as I'm aware, this is this is a ROM hack. So you have to have you have to have an you have to have access to Emerald in order to actually play it. I'm not very familiar with the terminologies and stuff. You have to forgive me. I'm I'm not an old man, but I'm old when it comes to emulation. <laughs> but you do have to have access to a copy of Emerald in order to uh, patch the the ROM and patch this over top of it. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> you have to keep our ears open, by the way, because Chinese do appear in the overworld, and you can't hear them when they show up. What we got access to here? Let's see what we get. Pokey dolls. Nothing crazy. Pokey dolls are just instantly sellable. Awakenings. No silver this time, which is nice. Potions. I have not found paralysis heals yet, I don't believe. Okay. Hi, Amber. Just trying to get to that item, everybody. Oh, maybe I can't. Can I walk around? No. I don't have the mock bike yet, so I can't get up there. Sad. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. I can just jump over. Thanks, Gold Whistle. Whee! Get some burn heals. Pokeballs. Did we really not find a... Oh, this is a trainer. I'm going to keep it... I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I did not see you there. Crazy. Thanks for the money, though. 
Oh, it was the guy that was all the way up here. He just saw me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Did I really not find a single paralysis heal? Oh, I did. I'm just blind. Okay, great. That's worse. <laughs> that's far worse. Okay, um, let's see. We only have two Pokemon. Uh, I think we probably need, or three Pokemon, rather. We only caught two new ones. So we probably need to do at least... Oh, they're both. These both give three, right? So Swarming's Bug. We don't want that. Let's do Chili. Interesting. Galarian Darumaka is very strong. If we can get it there. It needs to get there first, but like that has that's a really good option. Running into Yamper again is incredibly unfortunate. I, I can't even think of I can't even imagine what the odds of running into Yamper in two straight routes is. When like every Pokemon in existence is in this game. That's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> Like, that's, that's a little wild, if we're being real. Huh. Nothing up here. Let's go ahead and grab this Pokeball down here. Got some items up there. Looks like we will need to use Stantler to get up there, which is fine. Go ahead and finish this trainer off real quick. What up? Grab some items. Let's see. No silver. Okay, great. Do you have so Okay, so we do need to go ahead and get up there then. Oh, wait. Never mind. Ice heals. Shuka berries are good. Lum berries also good. Lychee berries. Salak berries are... Okay. Go ahead and hop over this fence really quick. Grab some par paralyzed heals again. Some heal balls. Nothing up here. We're good to go. We're good to go. Boom, we're in. Alrighty, so daycare route's probably the best option, but I like the battle routes here. I like to be able to um, teach some decent uh, competitive moves and hopefully not run into silver. Thank you, game. All right, let's see what we get for hell items this time. Thanks for the heart, I appreciate it. Choice Scarf is very good. Flame Orb would be good if we had a Guts Pokemon. Grip Claw is not terrible if we have Light Clay figures. Now we get Light Clay. Mirror Herb is also very fun. Also very fun. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. That was cool. It showed up over the chat. That was neat. I like that. Scope Blend's also pretty good. So we got some decent held item options this time around. Let's see what we're rocking with in terms of uh, in terms of move. Thank you. Jimmy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Bronze Orc gets in prison. Nothing there. Avalanche is pretty good. We'll teach Avalanche over Powder Snow. Um, man. Choice Scarf Darumaka would go pretty hard. Never mind, it's relaxed. <laughs> Never mind, it's relaxed. Ooh, and we got heat proof for Bronzor, which is unfortunate. We'd rather have Levitate. I should have checked that before we left. That's on me, though. That's on me. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can learn from moves. Scroopy can almost certainly learn Trailblaze, which we've seen as an option. Crunch is interesting. Poison Jab is better than the Poison Fang. Skitter Smack, obviously, also very good as well. Oh, can't learn Trailblaze. I was mistaken. Trail, Discharge, Helping Hand, Rising Voltage. Thunder Fang, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, pretty good. I was hoping for Volt Switch here, to be honest. Um, But no such luck. Burning Jealousy, Chilling Water is actually deceptively strong. Um, hidden power, leech life, light screen, probably useful here. We could teach a screen and grab the light clay if we wanted to take a guess. Blizzard, fire blast, fire punch is very good. We don't have access to a good fire move yet. Hammer arm, ice fang, ice punch is better than uh, avalanche wanted to go that route. Power-up punch is interesting. Probably not going to survive long enough for power-up punch to be super useful, though. Will it was sent headbutt. Okay. Uh, it's looking like a fire punch angle to me. 
just to give us access to a fire move in case we run into Jasmine. It's looking like it. Let's see if we can get Stealth Rock here. We cannot. No spikes either. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna teach Fire fire Punch. That seems like a really easy slam. We can just teach that over Taunt. Actually, we'll teach it over Tackle. We'll keep Taunt for now. But yeah, that's, that's an easy teach there. And then we will grab one item. Uh, charcoal actually pretty good considering we just got a fire move, but I think I'm gonna go with the scope lens here for some crit chance And since we are already rocking with hustle on our good friend the uh, The Dara Maka, we're actually gonna go ahead and give it the uh, scope lens as well That way it's just full gamba Give it a chance to crit and that's our squad. Not looking very good, if I'm going to keep it real with everybody. It's actually looking pretty bad, but we will do the best that we can. We do have uh, some medicines we can teach or get everything back to full health. And... Boy, that's really it. That's really it. Let's go ahead and set up berries as well. Uh, ground type. We're going to go ahead and give the Shuka Berry over to our friend, the Bronzor, just in case we run into a ground type move. We'll give this to Yamper as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Salak Berry over to Skarupi. Salak Berry, when you get to critical HP, gives you a speed boost, and it does have Fell Stinger. So we might be able to get a nice little attack boost with plus one speed, and maybe we'll be able to get a sweep that way. Uh, and then, other than that, I guess we can just give Lumberries to, uh, we'll give a Lumberry to Ampidim, just so it has a chance to heal a status effect. And uh, that'll do it, everybody. Let's take a look and see what we get. See what we get. We're already at the level cap, so we don't have to worry about that. We can just run right in. I think we lead with Skarupi. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Let's see what we get. We do get Jasmine. Really, really cool that I gave um, Darumaka Fire Punch. Now we'll have some better options here. Chin Chow, not a Steel type, in case anybody was curious. <laughs> Decidedly not a Steel type. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up Toxic Spikes here. We should be able to take this Thunderbolt relatively well. Just set up Toxic Spikes. If we were to be hit by another Thunderbolt here, we would go down. Does the Sandstorm bring us to our Salak Berry is the question. It doesn't, just barely doesn't, okay. So what I'd like to do here is I'd like to have something come in and absorb this Thunderbolt. It's gonna be Yamper. It's gonna be Yamper. So we do come in, we absorb the Thunderbolt relatively nicely. Chin Chow will take us down to... I imagine it kills us if it has a good water move, right? So if it has Surf, I think we probably just go down here. Um, but I'm going to assume that we're faster, go for Bite. We are not faster. Interesting. Interesting. I would have been expected uh, Yamper to be faster. Which makes me think this may be Choice Scarf. Because otherwise, I don't think it would stick to Thunderbolt. I think we probably would have switched to uh, a water move. 17 speed is not very high, though. So there is a chance that Yamper is just slower. Another Thunderbolt comes through. Not quite enough, but the Sandstorm will take us out here. And then at this point, I think we go Impidimp. Just because Impidimp is a Pokemon that I'm not super pressed on losing. If we got it late, like if we kept it until late, we would be okay, but let's hope that the combination of Fake Out, ooh, it is not going to be enough. I was hoping that Fake Out and Sandstorm would be enough here. It unfortunately is not. It's going to live with like one HP. Uh, so at this point, I'm actually down to go for the Flatter for the chance at a Confusion hit. And if it uh, if it doesn't, it'll go down to Sandstorm because it will uh, it'll knock out our Impidimp in one hit because I just raised a special attack, so... Hurt by Confusion? Let's go! Big moves. Big moves. Good job, Impidimp. Impidimp will take a little bit more chip from the Sandstorm here. Next Pokemon is Sandshrew. Uh, Sandshrew, I actually have no qualms in flattering. Um, that one's gonna get Darumaka. We're gonna let the Impidimp go down here. I am gonna flatter here. And then we will switch to Bite for some flinch chances. Sandshrew, Alolan Sandshrew specifically, is not super fast. <clears throat> so Impidim should outspeed. Triple Axle, I think, takes us out if it hits all three times. 
absolutely it does. Okay. Impidip goes down, which is fine. We do have the confusion down. We're gonna go ahead and send in the Alolan Dar no, Alolan, the Galarian Darmaka here. And hit it with Fire Punch. I do not think this will be enough even with Hustle. I do not think this will be enough to knock it out. It'll be close though. Oh, it was, nice, nice, great. I'm betting that was a hustle difference because <clears throat> Sandshrew's defense is pretty high. Thank you. Rodrigo, thank you for the follow, appreciate it, welcome on in. Tinka Tink comes in, which turns out we can fire punch that as well. <clears throat> we can fire punch that as well. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the hustle difference, baby. <laughs> God, I hate hustle. All right, fire punch again. Metal claw, which should survive at least one of these. Yep, we do need to hit the fire punch this time. Is this enough? Yes. Nice crit. Thank you, scope lens. What do we get next? Toga to Maru. Uh, I'm just gonna fire punch this as well. Defense curl, interesting. I wonder if this makes it survive the fire punch. We're gonna find out together. It does, and iron barbs will, ooh, it doesn't have iron barbs. What's its ability? Hmm. Nuzzle, that's fine. Breakthrough. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we do survive the sandstorm here with two HP. One HP, forgive me. Beldum comes in. Uh, at this juncture, I'm gonna go to Bronzor. I don't think there's a whole lot we can do here. So this is what I mean when I said that I was making Brutal a little bit too hard. Ooh, thank you. These will follow, appreciate it, welcome on in. Because um, we can use items. Like, the, the game allows us to use items, but I haven't been using items in battle. After today, I'm probably going to start using items in battle. Because <laughs> at this point, we probably would just win if we just healed the Mara or the, the uh, Darumaka, and we'd probably just flat out win. But uh, I haven't been. And at this point, like, I think I may be making this, oop, I used confuser again, oops, oops. I think I might be making this a little bit too hard on myself. You take the tackle, payback comes through. This should do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, we'll just take it down with payback here. Looks like it only has tackle. Down goes the uh, the Beldum. Last but not least, a Bronzor. Brother! Hit it with payback. Stealth Rock. Why did it fail? Why did it fail? How does Stealth Rock fail? Psywave. wave this does a random amount of damage and of course it rolled really well all right i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it yeah i don't i just don't remember it using stealth rock though turns off the confusion let's go go ahead and use the paralyzed heal because daramaka can come in and take this thing out oh it used rest perfect now we get oh no almost hit forfeit now we get a free switch Fire punch. And we missed. Thank you, Hustle. Hustle, please. Thank you. If you're telling me this Bronzor has heat proof. <laughs> One more fire punch. Come on, take it out. Nice. Nice. I did get hurt by South Rock coming in, though. So, yeah, it must have set up South Rock when I wasn't paying attention. We did get our first badge. And we only lost two there, right? Yeah, we only lost two. That's actually not terrible at all. Uh, I'm down to do the strong encounter in the, the honey route here. Let's see what we get. Is that Emolga? Interesting. That's a pretty good encounter for us. That's a pretty good encounter for us. Let's see what it rolled with. 
It's got Impish with Motor Drive. Interesting. Air Slash, Thunderbolt, Roost, and Tail Whip. Nah, not bad. Not bad at all. Obviously, Tail Whip is, is uh, skippable, but... Uh, Air Slash, Thunderbolt, very, very good. We can teach it Nuzzle over Tail Whip. Give it an automatic uh, Paralyze move. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right, let's head into the hunting encounter. Let's see what we get. Hello, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Durant. Interesting. Durant's probably pretty good for this too. To be honest. Because we can actually look for a not, not a modest one. <laughs> Definitely not a modest one. In case anyone is curious, that's not the one we're going to keep. My favorite Pokemon? That's a tough question. I have a lot of favorite Pokemon. I think near the top for me is uh, Whimsicott, Suicune, Umbreon, Espeon. That's like, they're all kind of around there. But Whimsicott's probably my favorite. I do like Whimsicott a lot. Ariados is good. Ariados is good. I always liked that it could learn Psychic for whatever reason. It was just like, it just could learn Psychic. <laughs> For some reason, it was just nice to, it was it was fun for me to consider what it would look like trying to use Psychic as a bug. Let's see what this Durant rolled with. Hasty, nice, okay, nice. So yeah, no, I'm definitely down to have Durant here. Um, Durant is, is really, really strong, does not evolve, so it's got high base stats right off the rip. We can get everybody leveled up in here as well. Unbelievable, it missed two metal, I can't believe it. That was a huge throw. <laughs> I was just trying to take one of the Durants down so we would be leveled up before the next area so we wouldn't get got by Silver again. And uh, I missed both Fire Punches because of Hustle. Which is super unfortunate. So we're just gonna go in, use Thunderbolt instead. I can't believe that, man. That's so unlucky. Losing that, uh, losing that Darumaka is gonna cost us the run, I think. Man, that's sad. Darn it. That was silly. I shouldn't have done that to myself. That's okay, though. That's okay. We move on. All right, so let's go ahead and teach uh, Bug Bite. Actually, I think I'm down to keep Fell Stinger. I don't want Bug Bite. I do want Knock Off, though. Karina, thanks for liking the live. Appreciate it. Let's teach Knock Off off her bite. Oh, that was a huge throw. Let's teach Gyro Ball. Gyro, 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 whatever you want to say. Hypnosis is also pretty good. Teach that over... Um, let's teach it over Payback. I doubt we'll use Payback again. Famous last words, bud. Ooh, Agility is interesting. I think I kind of want Fury Cutter over Bug Bite. Because if I'm using a Bug Attack, I'm probably using it until I go down. We'll teach this over Sand Attack. And then I think I'm down for Bite over Vice Grip. Yeah, not bad at all. We'll do the same thing with the other Duran as well. And then maybe we'll teach this one bug bite, so that way we have some like variety. <clears throat> and then we'll do um we'll do beat up on this Durant. Cause why not? Why not? All right, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Okay, what do we want to do here? I could go to the mart and buy some items. I don't think there's gonna be any items that we can buy. The only thing that we could find there are TMs. And I don't have a ton of money to work with here. Um, where this can give us mints. Hmm. Hmm. Do I think I'm a TM away from winning a fight? I don't, really, to be honest. I don't. 68 attack at 25 is wild, by the way. These Durant should be very useful. I should have caught a third one. I don't know why I didn't. That was silly. Bad nature. Bad nature. Bad IVs, too. Wow. But that just proves that we're going here. We'll try to get a we'll try to get a better mint for uh Amoga. Please, 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 please. Damn it. Oh god. <laughs> So it's gonna be the uh, the Rashman for Emolga. Let's go ahead and sell some of the uh, let's sell these Poke dolls. 
go ahead and buy the rash mint for Amolga. I'm actually down to get the adamant mint too, if we can easily make up that money. Uh, let's see what we got for medicine here. Um, maybe we do the soda pops. It's kind of rough, honestly. We've got nine heal powders, actually. That's more than enough. Let's get rid of all these other status effect uh, healers, and that should give us enough. Not the heal powders, though. Burn heals can go. That almost gets us there. I think we can just sell a berry. Uh, let's sell a graph berry. We need to sell. 36. That will need the increases to how much it likes you, but you know, just in case. Just in case. All right, so now in order to beat Silver, we need to put ourselves in the best position possible, just like we have in the past. So we're going to go ahead and give Emolga the Rash Nature. We're going to give the Adamant Nature over to our Durant. Um, I'm down to get rid of the Brave Nature one. Hasty is actually not terrible. Modest Haruki is actually terrible. I want to get rid of that. Probably not. I want that. If we win, it's going to be off the back of Durant. So let's let's just change this to. Uh, they already have good natures though. Like Brave is fine and Hasty's fine too. Let you know. No, let's give it to Scroopy. That's the better call. That's the better call. That puts us in a position where all five of our Pokemon are useful now. Uh, do we need to heal? Immobile's a little hurt. I can just use a potion. Okay. Um, and then we need to give Emolga and the Durant some items here. Let's go ahead and give Lumberries to some stuff. We'll give Lumberry to one of the Durants. Salak Berries, interesting. Shuka Berries, not necessary. None of them are weak to Ghost. Raises Attack in a Pinch. We can give this to the other Durant. And then Raises Special Defense in a Pinch. We'll give to Emolga. Because we gave it a Rash Nature. And we'll go from there. And then which one did we give the leechy berry to? We're gonna start, we're gonna lead with that one. This one's the leechy berry, okay. All right, so we're gonna lead with this Durant, and then my idea is is we're gonna start with agility to get us to a point where we should be faster than everything, and I'm just gonna fury cutter everything that comes in. And that's that's my game plan, and I'm sticking to it. So, yeah, we could random trade the other Durant. That one does have hustle. Where the other one has Swarm. I'm actually okay with that. If I can keep it real with everybody. I'm okay with that. Let's take this item back and let's trade it. Let's make, let's make $1,000 and trade that thing away. Uh, can we make $1,000 is the question. 675. This gives us 150. This gives us 150. Right, Awakenings are 150 as well, yeah. So that's 300. We'd have to sell all of our potions and all of our Pokeballs, I think. That's probably a throw. So no, we're just going to keep it. We're just gonna keep it. Go ahead and give it its Lumberry back. Durant is also incredibly strong to have this early in the game, too, so it, it seems like a waste to throw it away. Alright, let's do it. Incredibly likely that Silver will have a legendary Pokemon here. There's not a lot we can do about it, honestly. It is what it is. That's why I'm trying to set up as early as possible. We need something that does not resist Fury Cutter, is the hope. Mudbray is one of the Pokemon that does not resist Fury Cutter, which is good for us. So we are going to go ahead and set up our agility. Unfortunately, uh, Mudbray does have access to Stamina, which increases its defense every time it gets hit. Sets up Stealth Rock, which is fine. And now we start setting up Fury Cutters. Nice crit. Does get Stamina off. Does come in with close combat, which is interesting. We resist that relatively well. Another close combat will put us in range for the Lychee Berry to go off. This is pretty much best case scenario, to be honest. Because now Fury Cutter will be strong enough. This is going to put our uh, Lychee Berry off, which gives us a plus one attack. We should be in a good spot to sweep here. Lychee Berry goes off. We're plus one to their plus one's defense. As long as we hit the Fury Cutters, we should win. Because we're in swarm range as well now. We just have to hit the Fury Cutters now. Zero Aura comes in. I'm just going to Fury Cutter again. I think it resists Fury Cutter. It does not. So it just has to hit. We're in Swarm range. Plus one. Takes it out. This is how you play Pokemon, everybody. <laughs> Chalice comes in. We hit Fury Cutter. It goes down as well. No way it survives that if Zero Aura didn't. Nice. 
Noobal comes in, this is actually a much bigger threat. Uh, I don't have a good switch into Noobal either, because I have a lot of Pokemon that are weak to fire. I think I let Durant go down here. I think I let Durant go down here. So I'm in Swarm, which increases the strength. I also have Fury Cutter at 120 power. Um, it's got to be Fury Cutter still. I think this is still our best damage option, even though it's not very effective. I knocked it out. Crit. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. <laughs> Stunky comes in. We should just be able to Fury Cutter this down as well. I, I, absolutely wild. Oh, Aftermath takes us out. No, Durant. <laughs> what a sweep, though. Damn. We took out five of them. Now it's a four on one. We'll lead with the Molga here. Last Pokemon is Mantike, which is just perfect. We'll just Thunderbolt this, and it's gone. Now we've got a ghost. All right. That actually was as best case scenario as it's going to be. That was incredibly well played. That was incredibly well played. We, don't, we still have a Durant. We'll go ahead and teach this thing the same exact things that we taught the other one, just so we're not playing around. This one does have Hustle, though, versus Swarm, which is not nearly as good, but um, it's uh, it's fine. It's fine. It might actually save us in this upcoming fight. We'll have to wait and see. How much money did he give us? He gave us $3,600. So we could do a random trade here. I don't think that's required. Do we want to get another berry? I don't think that's required either. Or berry, I'm sorry. I'm mint. And uh, we get fully healed after we fight him, so we don't need to do that either. I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. Then we just move on. Alrighty, folks, so this is probably where the run's going to end, but we will do our best to try to make it happen here. Uh, so we could do the same thing where we lead with Durant, hit Agility, and just start working with the uh, with the Lychee area again, which is probably what my uh, my best option is. We could also work with Skaroopy with the Salak Berry to try to get a knockout with Fell Stinger. Basically the same exact thing, but instead of having plus two speed, it's plus one speed. And uh, Skaroopy, obviously, not as fast or as strong as Durant. So it's a bit of a... Uh, it's a bit of a lesser loss, even though Skaroopy evolves and does get a better, a good evolution with a uh, bug dark typing, which is pretty decent. Um, I think we probably lead Durant, right? I think we probably lead Durant. Bronzor is also a decent lead here just because we don't care if we lose Bronzor, right? Um, but I'd rather have Bronzor as a switch option and we'll lead with Durant. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We do get Bugsy, which is... I think the worst thing we could have gotten at this point, to be absolutely honest. Shuckle's a good lead for us, though. Um, I think we do something a bit different here. Let's go with Metal Claws and see if we can get an attack first. This will be Berry Juice. Oh, Red Card. Interesting. Sends in Skaroopy, which is fine with me. Stop Rock comes down. This does make it hard to switch into a Molga at this point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Knockoff here. Doesn't put it in range that I would say Fell Stinger would knock this out. I'm going to use Toxic Spikes a few times here. That's an Encore, which is fine. I was going to use Toxic Spikes twice anyways. Use Struggle Bug again. We'll keep mashing until we get there. Okay, we're out of it. Uh, let's use start using Fell Stinger here. Use Struggle Bug again. If it lets me get this off, this is huge. Because now we're at plus three. And Skaroopy can actually do some massive damage now. Conkolder! Like, for real, though. Conkolder! Like, that's crazy. <laughs> So, uh, it's probably going to have a rock move here, so we cannot switch into the uh, Molga. This is probably a Bronzor angle at this point, but I do have the plus three. Maybe we stay in and just take it and try to get the uh, try to get as much damage off as we can. The Rock Slide's going to kill us. I, I, I don't have a way to beat this, just being blunt. We'd have to stall out Poison Turns at this point, which I could do if it doesn't have Earthquake. If it has Earthquake, we're just super dead. We'll switch to Bronzor. Does use Ice Punch. Which we resist. Not very well. Oh, it has Guts. 
Uh oh. Hey, I think we lose. Goodbye, world. <laughs> Goodbye, world. Uh, well, Scarupi's gonna take a boatload of damage to Stealth Rock here. Durant actually takes quite a bit, too, because it's not resistant. Has Drain Punch, set up Agility. That's the only thing we've got, honestly. I think we outspeed the, um... Oh, boy. Has Ice Punch. Has Drain Punch. Air Slash flinches. I, I, that's really our only guess here. If we can get one flinch on the Air Slash, we might be able to knock it off. Or knock it out. But we're going to need at least one. Switch. Okay. Goes into Snom. Okay. Snom at this point can only have access to Struggle Bug and Powder Snow. So Snom goes down immediately. Bombi comes in. This is a bug fairy type. I'm so good. Honestly, I'm just going to air slash again. Moonblast comes in. I'm surprised it outspeeds. Wow, and it takes out Emolga. Really? Bombi? I guess I am rash. Hmm. Alright, we go into uh, Durant here. Let's go ahead and click agility. We do resist this moon blast, so this shouldn't do nearly as much. Wow, 25. It's not familiar with your game, Robombi. Uh, so good news here, we can just Metal Claw. <clears throat> and of course, he switches. <laughs> and of course, it's into Scizor! That did so much damage. We're fighting here. Give me a flinch. Thank you, Hustle. Another flinch. Or a crit. Goodbye, Scizor. How about Durant just carrying this run, by the way? In comes Conkledur again. This is where we start to... This is where we panic. Panic! Panic! <laughs> um... Yeah, we just Metal Claw get as much damage as we can. Just get as much damage as we can. Solid damage there. Solid damage there. We might not go down to the Drain Punch, but with Guts boost, I'm pretty much sure we do. Yeah. Yeah, it's just over. Unfortunately, with the Guts, there's nothing we can do here. Conkledur is just going to rip through the rest of our team. And it is uh, it is super over, friends. Hey, we got rid of its Flame Orb that it was going to use to set up its, uh, its Guts. What a run, though. That was a good run. That was a good run. Unfortunate that it ended that way, but we played well against Silver. Had some good moments. That was a good run. We are absolutely going to start using items in battle on Thursday. I, I'm pretty confident in that. I was, I, like, it, I, it didn't really change the the tide that much in the fight this time around. All it did was give me uh, one more fight with. Uh, <laughs> it gave me it gave me one more fight with Darumaka until it like immediately got knocked out. So it wasn't even that big of a deal. No new quest or rewards. Just absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and save. And that is where we're going to call it for today. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope y'all had fun today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. 